Have you ever wondered how political elites might be influencing the policies of your favorite social media platforms? Roll back the clock to the early days of social media. It was a time of digital exploration, of connection, of sharing our lives with the world. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they were all about bringing people closer, about creating an online community. The original purpose was to give everyone a voice and a chance to be heard. Fast forward to today, and it's clear that the landscape has drastically changed. Social media is no longer just about posting selfies or telling the world what you had for breakfast. It's become a powerful tool for information dissemination and public opinion shaping. It's a stage where global conversations take place, where ideas are shared, and where movements are born. And here's where the concept of political elites comes in. These are the individuals or groups who hold significant power within a political system. They are the lawmakers, the influencers, the decision makers. Their reach extends far beyond the confines of government buildings. And yes, that reach extends to social media. Now you might be asking, how are political elites influencing social media policies? It's a complex web, but at its core, it's about control. Control of information, control of narratives, control of public perception. And this control is often exercised through a combination of pressures, threats, and coercion. It's about ensuring that the policies of these platforms align with their political agendas. And it's not just about what content is allowed on these platforms, but also about who gets to see that content. Algorithms and artificial intelligence play a significant role in this, determining what posts show up on your feed, what trends, what news. It's a subtle form of control, one that many of us might not even realize is happening. But it's happening, and it's shaping the way we see the world. As social media platforms have grown, so too has their potential to be tools for political power. From a tool for connection to a platform for politics, social media has undergone significant shifts in policy. The early days were almost like the Wild West, with few rules and regulations. But as social media platforms grew, so did the need for guidelines to ensure the safety and integrity of these online communities. The first wave of policies was mainly aimed at curbing spam and harmful content. Platforms began to introduce terms of service policies and community standards, setting the groundwork for what would be acceptable and what wouldn't on their respective sites. This was a critical step in the evolution of social media, as it laid the foundation for the more complex policies we see today. As the influence of social media expanded, so did its potential for misuse. The spread of misinformation, disinformation, and malinformation became an increasing concern. Misinformation refers to inaccurate information shared without malicious intent, while disinformation is deliberately misleading information, and malinformation involves the sharing of genuine information with the intention to cause harm. In response, social media platforms have continually updated and refined their policies, They've rolled out guidelines specifically aimed at curbing the spread of these types of harmful information. This is a delicate balancing act, as platforms must also protect the freedom of speech and expression. But how are these policies enforced? It's not just a simple matter of human moderation. The sheer volume of content shared on these platforms every minute makes that an impossible task. Enter algorithms and artificial intelligence. These technologies are trained to detect violations of community standards, from spam to misinformation, and to take action accordingly. These rules enforced by algorithms and AI have shaped the content we see on our screens. They have also played a significant role in shaping the cultural, political, and social conversations that take place on these platforms. As we continue to navigate the digital age, these policies and the technologies that enforce them will undoubtedly continue to evolve. But one thing's for sure, they'll continue to play a pivotal role in our online interactions. But who's really pulling the strings behind these policy changes? Let's delve into the intricate dance between government and corporate elites. You see, the relationship between these two entities is not as clear-cut as it may seem. On one hand, you have the government, the entity tasked with safeguarding the public interest. On the other hand, you have corporate elites, the individuals who own and manage social media companies. These two entities are not always in alignment, and this is where things get interesting. Political elites, those who hold power within the government, often have agendas. These agendas may be noble, or they may be self-serving. But regardless, they are agendas that these elites want to push. And where better to push these agendas than on the platforms where people's attention is most concentrated? Social media? To achieve this, political elites can resort to various tactics. 
Sometimes it's as straightforward as drafting new legislation that obligates social media companies to adhere to certain standards or face hefty fines. Other times it's more subtle like leveraging their influence to threaten or coerce corporate elites into compliance. The goal? To ensure that the policies of these companies align with their political agenda. But why would corporate elites comply? Well, the answer lies in the balance of power. These companies, as powerful as they are, still operate within the jurisdiction of governments. They are subject to laws and can be heavily penalized if they don't comply. So, in many cases, it's in their best interest to toe the line. However, this alignment between government and corporate elites can have far-reaching impacts. It can shape public perception, influence discourse, and even sway elections. Yes, you heard it right. The policies governing your favorite social media platform could very well be influencing how you perceive the world around you, and in turn, how you vote. This alignment can have far-reaching impacts, shaping public perception and even swaying elections. The influence of these policies extends far beyond individual users and even national borders. This isn't just about you or me, it's about the collective conscience of humanity. Let's dive into the global impact of these policy changes. Imagine a world where the narrative is no longer controlled by the traditional media outlets but by the very platforms we use to connect and share our lives. Our perception of reality, our views, our opinions, all subtly shaped by the invisible hand of social media giants. These platforms, through their terms of service policies and community standards, have the power to dictate the information we receive and the discussions we engage in. The algorithms and artificial intelligence designed to enforce these policies become the gatekeepers of our digital world. They decide what's seen, heard, and ultimately, believed. Now let's take it a step further. What happens when these platforms, under pressure from political elites, align their policies with a certain political agenda? Well, we are looking at a potential manipulation of electorates, markets, and communities around the world. Imagine the ripple effect. A shift in public opinion in one country could influence election results in another. A trending topic could trigger market reactions across the globe. A community's narrative could be suppressed, while another's is amplified. All this, controlled by a few, yet impacting many. But here's the kicker. It's not just about control, it's about the illusion of choice. We have the freedom to choose what to read, watch and believe, right? But when the options are curated and the narrative controlled, is it really a choice or just a well-orchestrated illusion? It's like a grand chess game, with the public mind as the playing field and social media companies as the chess pieces, all manipulated by the hands of the powerful elites. Global public opinion is at the mercy of these powerful elites in their social media chess game. The question is, are we ready to reclaim control? Or will we continue to be pawns in this global game of power and perception? So, where does this leave us as we navigate the complex landscape of social media in the future? As we project into the future, it's clear that the interplay between political and corporate elites will continue to shape social media policy. The tug of war for control will persist with the public caught in the crossfire. But here's the thing. Social media is not just a tool for the elite. It's a platform that can empower each one of us if we learn to harness its potential effectively. Imagine a future where social media policies are designed not just to control, but to educate. A future where algorithms are built to promote informed dialogue rather than echo chambers. A future where artificial intelligence is used to combat misinformation and malinformation rather than propagate it. It might seem utopian, but it's not entirely out of reach. The key lies in the public's awareness and understanding of these policies and algorithms. It's about recognizing the potential of social media as a tool for empowerment, and not just as a pawn in the hands of the elites. This involves a shift in mindset from passive consumers of information to active, informed participants. It's about questioning, analyzing and understanding the information we consume and share. Equally important is the role of corporate elites. If they can strike a balance between their commercial interests and their social responsibilities, they can help create a more equitable social media landscape. By fostering transparency, accountability, and inclusivity in their policies and algorithms, they can help curb the misuse of their platforms and pave the way for a more empowered public. Finally, the involvement of political elites need not be just about control. They can use their influence to encourage responsible usage of social media, promoting digital literacy and ensuring that the benefits of these platforms reach all sections of society. 
Whether tool of power or platform for empowerment, the future of social media lies in the balance of these forces. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.